The purpose of this video is to compare and contrast the options of freezing and thawing a layer versus turning a layer on or off. Uh, essentially they do the same things. They take the layers away from your screen, which means they're no longer editable and they will not print. Uh, let's take a look at the on off first. So what we're looking at are these room labels and they are on two layers called our names and our info. So I will simply use my layer drop down list and I'm going to turn off our info and turn off our names. And as you can see, those text labels go away. So I'm going to turn those back on with their light bulbs. And this time I'm going to use the little sun to freeze thaw. So I will hit the sun on each of those. And once again, they're gone. So effectively, I've done the same thing on screen. I've gotten rid of them. Uh, they're no longer on screen. They're not editable. They're not going to print. But there's actually a little difference between freeze thaw and on off and it deals with your computer resources. Um, as you're doing things in AutoCAD, AutoCAD is really just a database of items and it's constantly recalculating where things are, how endpoints connect, uh, where the text is located, those sorts of things. So when you turn something off, AutoCAD still thinks about it, for lack of a better term. It still calculates where it's at and how it connects to other things. When you freeze it, AutoCAD completely ignores it, so it's better for resources to freeze rather than turning on or off. So let me give you an example of this. I am going to draw a large circle around the outside of this building, and I'll just do it in the walls layer. So I'm going to draw a large circle, and then I'll hit Escape. So one of the first things that we talked about in uh, AutoCAD is how double clicking your mouse wheel will give you a zoom extents. So I'm going to double click my mouse wheel to do a zoom extents. And as expected, it zooms out to show me the entire circle, whether I'm really far in or really far out. A zoom extents will show me that entire circle since that's the largest thing drawn on screen. Well, I'm going to real quick set a, a different layer current here and I'm going to freeze the walls layer. So now the walls are gone, including the circle. So now when I double click my mouse wheel, once again it zooms to show me everything that's drawn on screen, which in this case does not include that large circle anymore. So I'm going to thaw that back out. Double click my mouse wheel, and again it goes to that circle since it's back. Watch what happens when I turn walls off. When I turn walls off, it's gone from screen I'll zoom way in. Watch what happens when I double click my mouse wheel. It zooms out to where the circle was. So even though it's still not there, AutoCAD is still thinking about it. It's still calculating where it's located at, what its size is, etc. So that's the main reason why freeze thaw, thaw is better than on off, is it's faster for your computer resources. There is another reason why I prefer freeze thaw versus on off, and it's kind of a little fail safe. It keeps you from freezing the current layer. I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna turn walls as my current layer. And let's say I'm drawing some walls and I decide I want to freeze walls. Press escape. And go back up to my layer drop down list and I'm gonna click on the sun here for walls. And I get this little message that says this layer can't be frozen because it's the current layer. So it's kind of a little fail safe. It keeps me from freezing the current layer. I appreciate that. Um, if I use off instead, it will actually let me turn off the current layer. It's gonna give me a little error message here. Not really an error message, but just informational. Um, are you sure you wanna do that? Go ahead and turn the current layer off or keep it on. I'll say, yeah, go ahead and turn it off. So it's gone. Well, here's the problem. Let's say I save this drawing and I close and I go home and I come back the next morning or even worse, maybe I email it to somebody and they open it up and the first thing they want to do is start drawing something. So I'll go ahead and start drawing something on screen here and you can see that it looks like it's not doing anything. So I might click around a few times and see if I can figure out what's going on. Eventually I might notice that the walls layer is turned off. So I will turn that back on and you'll actually see that those that whole time I was clicking there, I was actually drawing. So drawing invisible lines is just about the last thing I want to do. It might come back to bite me later. So that is the other reason why I prefer freeze and thaw to on off in addition to it being faster for your computer resources.